What's up guys, my name is Jordan, and today in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to do some source bond code and some plugin codes, because I feel like there's not enough videos on the uh, internet about it. And if there are, if there are, there's like either no commentary or it's some guy you can't understand. So I thought, using my clear, no accent voice, I would teach you guys how to do some source pawn or some source code. So basically, this is gonna be the base. This is gonna be the most basic thing that you can do, but it's gonna get you started. Because um, if you're like me, when you started. Everything was super confusing. Nothing was explained the way that it needed to be, and yeah. So I would suggest that you get this thing called Pawn Studio. It's really good, but you don't have to. You can just write down. You can do it in Notepad if you want, or WordPad, or whatever it is now. But if you do a Pawn Studio, you just go to New and Source Pawn Script. If you're gonna do it in something else, um, your like WordPad or Notepad or whatever, you just do a new th thing and just have a blank slate. Alright? Now, oh, sorry if you hear that, that was my phone. Now, uh, if you are in Pond Studio, it'll generate the basic template, and that is good. Uh, if you aren't in Pond Studio, uh, aside from this, I'll, I'll just go ahead and delete. Hang on. Okay, now, go ahead and write down everything that you see here aside from the stuff that I'm deleting which is pretty obvious what I'm deleting go ahead and write down everything that you see here if you're not in Pond Studio. You can go ahead and pause the video and do that. Alright, so hopefully you did that. Now, if you're on Pond Studio you don't have to worry about it. That's what makes it nice. So, go ahead and put your name in here. I'm gonna put my name um, forget you Nogata because that is my YouTube name. Which I might explain in a video, but I probably won't. Um, actually, that's the. This is supposed to be the name of the plugin. My bad. Uh, name of the plugin. Bacon. That's what I'm gonna call it. You can call it whatever you want. Author. That's where I come in. Forget you, Nogata. But also my real, basically what I use for everything besides YouTube is mr asian that's my steam id if you want to add me also as my steam name is mr asian spelled exactly like that aside from the slash all right in this description uh my first plugin because this is your first plugin there's another message uh version whatever version we'll just call it one url put whatever your url is um if you have a website i'll put mine in there now Let's go over what we have here. Public plugin info, all that, that's basically info. It doesn't affect anything in the actual plugin at all. Um, the only thing that it affects is if somebody looks in here, they will see that and they can see, you know, yeah, so like somebody can't steal your credit unless, of course, they came in here and edited it to say whatever they wanted, but hopefully they wouldn't do that because hopefully they're not jerks. Now, let's see what we got here. Public on plugin start. Basically, what that means is when the pub, this is what's going to happen when the plugin starts. Um, plug public will explain a different thing, but basically, that's all we're going to be using right now. So, I'll explain that when we have to change it to something else. I'll explain it then, but don't worry about it right now. Uh, but leave it there, of course. Um, now, the first thing we're going to have to write is reg, and it'll it should come up. Here we go. There. Reg console command. Just like that. It's a reg console cmd. Basically what that means is um, like it means a, a like a console command. A command that you would put in the console but I th but you can also put it into chat uh, what we're going to be doing because it's going to be a basic print to s sort of like a hello world uh, if you will. So uh, it'll be sort of like what I have here in my example. But Go ahead and put whatever you want here, SM, and we have it called Bacon. Uh, it's going to be the name of it, so we're going to put Bacon in here. Um, and then make sure you put that in parentheses, and that is what basically uh, SM means, your, means source mod, source mod, Bacon. And there may be better ways to do this if you are experienced, but you probably aren't if you're watching this. But for right now, this is what we're going to use. It's the most basic, I think. Bacon. So now, pretty much anybody can type either this 
or this and it'll do something and we'll have what we're going to do right now make sure you put your uh, semicolon at the end and then here you are going to write um, bacon because that's the name of it um, yeah that that's pretty there you go so basically what we have here is a regular like just a console command or a chat command and you're gonna put in either exclamation point bacon because you know you you've been in servers before where you put in exclamation point and then a word and then something happens that's what this is pretty much gonna be exclamation point bacon or slash bacon and something's gonna happen now go ahead and move in out of that now these things right here your parameters uh, pretty much anything within these parameters right here these two different uh, um, squiggly squiggly road squiggly anything in these parentheses these squiggly parentheses uh, belongs to public on plugin start um, if you have experience with like Java you're used to it being like this where it's in there but for some reason you have to do it like this if you're in the Ziva Plus or Source Phone or whatever. I don't know why, but uh, it just apparently that's how they want it. People want it to look, so that's how I'm gonna make it look. Um, so uh, go ahead and start a new thing here uh, outside of the public on plugin start parameters that we talked about just before, and call this public, and then uh, action like that. Do colon and write the name of your plugin bacon then go ahead and put in here client args uh... and there you go so that's the first line um... and it's basically gonna be the same thing i have here uh, but yeah go ahead and put in here because this is what this means is the the action of putting in bacon will do something. Well, is, this is the actual action. This is what's gonna actually going to happen. So go ahead and put your parameters in here. Just like that. And go ahead and write in here fake. And see it pops up for me. That's why it's good to use uh, Pond Studio. But put in fake client command. Uh, and then put client. And then we're going to write uh, bacon is awesome that actually isn't gonna do anything but, but make sure you put that in there fake client command uh... actually no we're gonna write give bacon so write give bacon in there all right now move down here whoops what the heck an error occurred in the application hang on something's going on here all right don't worry about that um... don't worry about what just happened didn't do anything didn't mean anything Right, give bacon in there, and then we'll come down here. Come down here, and this is going to be a uh, client. It's the person uh, or the thing, and then a command. So it's basically a command. It's basically like this sort of uh, client give bacon. Move down here and write in here. Um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, print to, and then it's already ha here for me. Print to chat. And then, once again, we're going to write client. And then, write whatever you want to be printed to the chat, which is going to be no bacon for you. But you can make whatever you want. All right. Uh, yes, I do put semicolons, so you can do that too. Um, now, this is the part that a lot of people have trouble with and I'm going to go over it if you have source mod already installed and everything which uh, there are actual good videos of that on YouTube this should work basically go into your command prompt by typing CMD in here in the start menu go ahead and wherever you have your download for source mod located go ahead and go to that mine is just in my home folder so to go to that you're gonna basically find wherever it is wherever you downloaded it and stuff and then you're gonna put in here um... uh... where are you gonna put... you're gonna put in cd and if if it's not already where um... you see jordan is for me that'll be your username 
if it's not in there let's say it's in your program files you're gonna hit CD dot dot and then it'll go back and you keep doing that until you get to your base uh, your ba actual C drive but mine is in um, in here so I were in my home folder so I'm gonna go ahead and go there uh, to get to a place you type in CD and then the name of the directory and it has to be a directory right one right after the other one right after the other so basically if I were to go to my actual C drive and then go cl double click it go to users double click it I would see Jordan and then I can go into that and then there you go and now it is in add-ons is the name of the folder and then CD source mod and then CD scripting it's gonna be in your scripting folder so you're gonna find your add-ons folder and then you're gonna find your source mod folder and then your scripting folder and you're gonna go to that then you will have something called SP comp okay that is your source pond compiler that is basically gonna take all of this and compile it into an actual plugin that you can use and um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, and there you go. So go ahead and you're going to type in spcomp.exe and then you're going to type in the name of whatever your script is. Now we haven't saved it yet. So to save it, you're just going to go to File, Save File As, Save It As Whatever You Want. We're going to call ours Bacon. And you're going to put .sp. And I know mine already is that type, but if you're in a, like a text editor like Notepad or whatever, you're going to write .sp and then save it. Um, now... If you come in back into here and you type in bacon.sp with that spcomp.exe, it will compile it. If you have any errors, it will tell you you have errors, and it'll tell you what line the error is in, and all of that. Like for example, I'm going to make myself have an error here. Um, let's let's just take away the last three letters of that and then save it again. Now come into here and I'm going to do it again just to give you an example of what an error will look like. So an error will look like this. We'll see one error in bacon.sp and then this means what line it is in, line 21. Because as you can see, it says line 21, where I just deleted is actually in line 21. Undefined symbol, fake client, com, whatever. So, um, let me go ahead and change it back though. And then you fix whatever it is and most likely you're not going to understand what it means if you're still beginning. If you are getting an error, please put it in the comment section below and I will be sure to to reply definitely um, as soon as I possibly can which will probably be pretty soon so um, yeah that's how you do it uh, if you want to learn how to actually put the plugin in maybe leave it in the comments and I'll do it or whatever but that's basically it alright guys thanks for watching see ya